Hey guys, we are today going to address plantar fasciitis. I think that's how you say it anyway. So what we're going to do is I'm gonna show you three different types of uh, kind of stretches and exercises that you can do. Now the goal of these exercises is to help improve um, the function of the foot. It's um, hopefully going to alleviate some of that pain and we wanna to start to get some strength back um, so we can kind of get over this um, painful condition. So um, there's obviously a lot of different reasons why plantar fasciitis uh, happens and occurs. So if you are in a position at the moment where you have, have it and you have it quite significantly, so you're suffering from a little bit of pain, I would first recommend um, seeing your physio. If you have one, if you don't, I'm sure there'll be one in your local area that you can um, contact and um, go and see for a visit. They'll obviously be able to give you very specific exercises um, for what you need and your condition. But if plantar fasciitis is just something that's a bit of a niggle for you, um, you have been in the physio before and it's just a matter of trying to get on top of it. Um, first of all, I'm going to give you a little bit of a kick up the butt to make sure um, you get back to doing those exercises and most of all, um, hopefully give you a couple of tips that you can help, that can help you straight away um, with addressing that problem. So here are the three exercises. I hope it helps. And if you need further help, please don't hesitate to reach out. The first thing we're gonna start with is actually going to be a stretch and it's a lighter version of the stretch. We're also gonna incorporate a little bit of self-massage into this as well, if we can. So the way it's gonna work is we're gonna sit down, I'm gonna pop our foot up, okay, on our knee. And from here, what we wanna do is we wanna stretch the toes and we wanna to try to get that forefoot stretching back so we can address the fascia underneath the foot here, okay? So depending on how, how bad your um, plantar fasciitis is at the moment, we're either going to start with just the big toe and just pull the big toe back and hopefully you can feel that stretch down the bottom of the foot. If that isn't really stretching it too much, what I want you to do is use your palm or your fingers to grab your big toe and all of your toes and we're gonna pull that back, okay? Just however much you can before it becomes too painful, okay? So we're light stretch through there. All right, now as you do this, we're gonna hold it for about 60 to 90 seconds. You should be able to do this a couple of times throughout the day and we're just holding that position and getting that stretch there. So if we can too, just to kind of add to this stretch, we're gonna use our thumb and we're gonna just lightly massage that area, okay? And it's just gonna be in the different directions, up and down the foot. And we're just trying to help relax all of the tension in there. And then hopefully that will help start to alleviate some of that pain, okay? So we're gonna do this. We can do this at the start of the day. Um, especially if you wake up with a bit of um, pain when you first get out of bed, this is gonna be a great exercise to do first up. Our next exercise is going to be taking our first stretch and self-massage, just that little step further. And we're going to use the, a foam roller and a ball if we have them. Now, if we don't have, I've got a little massage ball here. Okay, now if you don't have one of these, a tennis ball will be fine. Um, or any other ball that you might have at home. Now, if you do have things like golf balls and cricket balls, they're probably going to be just a little bit too hard um, initially. So you wanna find something that does have a little bit of flex in it, okay? Um, I've also got um, a foam roller here that we can use. So foam roller, it's very simple. We're just putting our heel, okay, on the foam roller. And we're just gonna use that foam roller forward and back, just trying to gently give that, that foot a massage. Now. If I can, I'm gonna pull all the way back so I'm getting my toes there. And like we did in our first stretch, okay, I'm trying to get those toes up and stretching back so I can get that stretch underneath that foot, okay? So that's using the foam roller with the ball. It's very similar, but we can do, you know, a variation of, of movement. So we can go side to side, little circles, forward and back, okay? And we're just lightly massaging underneath that foot. Foot. So with both of these, we're looking for about 60 to 90 seconds again, okay, on each foot. And you should be able to do that once or twice during the day, okay? Now, for some of you that don't have a ball or a foam roller, um, what you can do is, is um, if you have access to like a, an, a used water bottle, um, like a disposable one, what um, you can do which will also be uh, really beneficial is you can freeze one of those bottles full of water, okay? And then you can actually use that not only as a foam roller, but that's also going to be an awesome way to apply um, some cold, like some ice to the foot, which will also help with the inflammation um, of the plantar fasciitis. So 
what you do, yeah, is fill that water bottle, you would freeze it, you would then take it out, and then we would use that kind of is the same thing as we would use with our foam roller. So nice slow massage, also cooling that area down as well. So same thing with the timing, about 60 to 90 seconds on that one. So the last exercise I want to show you for our plantar fasciitis drills is going to be a stretch to the wall. Now, not only is this going to get the, the stretch in the foot, it should hopefully get the stretch in the ankle and then also your calf muscle. Um, I'll show you how we're going to improve on this over time. Okay, but what we want to do is we're going to start, we're going to use the wall and we're going to pop our foot. Okay, so just to show you kind of a starting point, you put your toe up against the wall. And then what we want to do is we want to be able to touch our knee on the wall, okay? Now this is going to be our measure of how far, okay, we can get those knees over those toes and how much movement we have in the ankle. So what I want to do then is once I can touch my knee on the ground with my toe touching, I'm just going to come back kind of 10 centimeters, all right, and then do it again. So you get your knee to the wall, all right? Now what we want to do is stop that heel from coming up. So as soon as you get the knee to the wall and your heel starts to lift off, it means that we've then lost the movement in our ankle and our whole foot starting to roll up. So we want to keep that heel down, we want to get our knee to the wall. So once you find that range where you can do that, your knee goes to the wall, but your heel, you can feel it just to start to come up. We're then going to work in that range and we're going to go forward and back, forward and back. And what you'll find is as you do this for 60 to 90 seconds, that the movement actually improves. Now, over the days and over the weeks, you should find that you actually get to come further and further back away from the wall. Now, you can use a variation of things to keep measure. So if I've got here just a little DVD, so I can put that DVD on the ground and then I can use that as my measure. So each time I do this exercise, I'm doing the same distance, okay? Um, now, the last thing is I'm doing this showing you kneeling. You can also do it standing up. Okay, where I'd stand up, put my hands against the wall, and then drive, trying to get my knee to the wall, come back, knee to the wall, come back. Okay, all while trying to keep that heel flat on the ground. Okay, now you could see there that my knee wasn't touching, but what I could feel was that stretch happening each time. Okay, so that's the third exercise for our plantar fasciitis drills. Um, implement those three into your day if you can. And like I said, if you need help with anything else, just give us a message. Um, we'd love to hear from you and uh, good luck with it. I hope this helps.